Doc here with Velocity Edition in our Theoretical Physics course, first according to Galileo and then according to Einstein. We have a car here traveling at speed u prime according to its own speedometer in its own frame, the k prime frame, and that speed will be measured by the penguin on an island. Now the boat's moving at speed v, the k prime frame, as we encountered earlier, and the boat will make the car appear to move faster according to the observation of the penguin. Now if the car is moving 80 kilometers per hour and the boat's moving 20 kilometers per hour, the penguin's going to conclude classically that it's 80 plus 20. It's 100 kilometers per hour. In other words, the answer is u prime plus v. We would like to derive this from the Galilean transformation. So we're going to set this up x prime is x minus vt, t prime equals t, it's Galileo, and u prime, delta x prime over delta t prime, the definition of the speed in the prime frame, and from the penguin's frame, it's delta x over delta t would be the speed that the penguin measures. We want to show that u, the penguin's measurement, is equal to u prime plus v, the 80 plus the 20. Well, you take deltas here. Delta x prime is delta x minus v delta t, and delta t prime is delta t. We divide by delta t prime so that we have u prime over here. If we divide by delta t prime here, since delta t prime equals delta t, we can replace it with delta t, and delta x over delta t is u, so u will be there. And delta t over delta t will be 1. So you'll have u prime is u minus v or u equals u prime plus v. And that's the Galilean result, the classical result, or the Newtonian, Newtonian result. Uh, here, for the relativistic result, we look at the Lorentz transformation, and I set the Lorentz transformation up two ways for you. The regular way, going from x and t to x prime and t prime, and the inverse transformation, where you have the primes and you go to the x and t. Since I want something that looks like this in this form, with u on the left and u prime and v's on the right, I want to use this equation and this one because the definition of u is delta x over delta t. So here's my delta x, here's delta t, so this forces me to pick this one. Uh, here, uh, if you pick the prime ones like we did over here, it's more complicated. This was so easy, it didn't matter which one we use. But here, with all this stuff going on, the t's and t primes, you know, not being the same, t and t prime, we want to be careful and save ourselves some of the math. So here, delta x over delta t, delta x, delta x prime, and v delta t prime. Now you're going to write this out, of course, but I want to lead you through it to help you out in your homework assignment. And delta t has a delta t prime there and a delta x prime there. I divide this delta x by delta t, and on the right side I divide my delta x prime plus v delta t prime with delta t prime plus delta x prime and then v over c squared. Notice that this will flip and the radicals will cancel and I'll have delta x prime plus v delta t prime in the numerator and in the denominator here I'll have delta t prime plus delta x prime times v over c squared. Now here's the trick. The trick is to divide top and bottom of this equation by delta t prime. Then in the numerator I'll have delta x prime over delta t prime which is u prime so I'll have u, you see there, and a u prime there. Delta t prime divided by delta t prime is 1. I'll have v. So I will have u prime plus v up here, the Galilean result. But in the denominator, delta t prime divided by delta t prime is a 1. That's this one here. And if I divide delta, delta x prime by delta t prime, which will be down here, I will get u prime, there's u prime, I will have v going for the right, and I'll have c squared going for the right here. Now you write this out, but I'm trying to help you with your homework, you know, by giving you these uh, statements. If you could follow that in your head, well, you're like Stephen Hawking. Then we come down here with this definition, we have beta 
is beta naught by definition is V over C. These are standard definitions used in relativity. And then beta, you know, betas are sp the speed is divided by the speed of light. And the beta naught is the the basic speed of your reference frame moving to the right V. And this this beta here is laboratory uh, speed measurement. And this is the measurement in the frame of the of the K the K prime frame. So when you do that. You divide by C, you divide by C, you divide by C. This is simply replaced by beta, and this is beta prime, and this is beta naught. You have a C here to share, C squared, one C for each of these. So you have U prime over C, which is beta prime, and V over C, which is beta naught. So you have the result, and here's a cute calculation I can't resist not doing. Let's add C plus C. In other words, you're on a rocket ship going practically the speed of light and you shine a flashlight on it and the penguin watches the speed of light going on the boat that's going near the speed of light. So what's C plus C? Well, C plus C, here we go, C plus C is one over divided by 1 plus C squared over C squared. We get 2C, 1 plus 1, and there you have it. You get C. You can't go faster than the speed of light because C plus C is C.